and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie Chaplin. I am the owner maker behind Cotton Baby Crochet. I had a couple of people ask me about my uh, market setups uh, via Instagram because I like posted a picture of like my market setup. <laughs> uh, and so I just thought I would come in here and go over it with you guys because I do have a couple tips specifically for people who sell like plushies and Ami Grimmy at craft shows. Um, this won't necessarily apply to everybody, but if you're selling things to kids, I've got like a tip for you that like you might not have thought of, but I think it's like a good little hack, if you will. Um, so stick around with that to the end. Uh, so starting with my table, um, depending on the flow of traffic, I will put this table as like the first table that people see, uh, because it's got like a lot of colors and signs and a lot of vertical height for the adults. Um, so the first thing I have are these twist headbands that I make on that knitting machine. Um, they're cute. Then I have scrunchies that I crochet. They're just like a half double crochet and they take me like five minutes to make. And then I have my little keychain display. I sell all of my keychains, no matter how long they take, for about 15 bucks because I think that's a fair price for keychains. And then I have a little uh, stand that has on top our soaps. Um, then in the middle are wooden rattles that I make, silicone teethers that I don't make, uh, and then the bottom tier are these candles. Uh, that was back from like, old craft days. Now I pretty much strictly do crochet, but I still have that stuff. So I bring it to my markets. Um, then front and center. So when people get in front of my booth, the first thing people see are like my big banner. I didn't realize I was ordering a banner that big. Um, I read like eight foot by four foot, but like my brain did not realize how freaking big that is. Um, it's almost too big because you can't see like my socials link on the bottom, but I mean, you could see like my logo and stuff. So it's kind of cool. And I have a little sign that has bulleted list of everything we sell. Um, I probably will change that at some point, but I like that sign and I just don't know what to put on it. So that's what's on it. Uh, I have bigger plushies on the bigger vertical stand and then little bins. Um, and each bin has like a different price point for it. I try to group either like objects together or like prices together. And then on, that's like my middle table. And then on the other side, I have a bigger shelf. Um, it's just like a wire rack cube shelf situation with more plushies and then more bins. And then a good tip is A, if you do custom orders to put a sign up that says you do custom orders. Um, and B, if you want to do email marketing, a good way to collect emails is to have a little discount you offer for anybody who signs up on your email list. And you'll see that at the end of my table right next to my business cards. And then I also have like a little clearance bin because if people are signing up for the list, a lot of times it's because they're looking for discount things. So I have a little clearance bin too, because that's my discount stuff. I don't go out of my way to display it. It's just there. And that's either things that I've decided are like out of season that I still want to try to sell and not save or things that I might have messed up on. Like I made a wooden rattle with like a heart on it and one side was like shorter than the other because I like skipped a row. So I just threw that in there um, at like discounted rates. And then a couple of other signs that I display, QR codes are your best friend. They're super simple. Pretty much everybody's phone can read a QR code. Uh, I have my connect with me sign that brings them like right to my uh, Etsy and my Instagram link is on there, like my handle. And then all the like payment methods I take, which are cash, card, uh, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. And then I have a warning because things with safety eyes are not meant for kids that are under three years old. So I have that warning out because I... Look, if you're a parent and you want to give something to your kid with safety eyes, so be it. I personally would advise against it. Uh, I don't give my baby things with safety eyes. So I just put that up so people can make informed decisions. 
safety eyes are not as safe as they sound. And I even try to reinforce them by burning down the back post. So they're harder to get out. But I put that up nonetheless. Um, the things I sell on my Etsy, a lot of times you'll see embroidered eyes because they're like meant to be for babies. Now, the big tip I have for people who sell plushies that are kind of geared toward children like I do is everyone will tell you that, oh, vertical height, vertical height. That's the best way to get people into your booth and get sales. Yes, but also keep in mind that your target demographic is actually a child. So when they say vertical height, they're looking for you to have things at eye level for an adult. An adult really, for the most part, doesn't care about the little plush octopus. But a child, if you place that at a child's eye level, which is why I have a lot of small, inexpensive bins at child eye level flat on the table, uh, they'll pick it up and be like, oh, I love this. It's so cute. Mom, can we get this? And that's why all my cheaper stuff is at eye level because a mom's typically, not always, not going to scoff at like a $5 price point on a cheaper item. So if you're trying to get sales selling plushies, put your lower price stuff that's super cute right at the eye level of the child, whether that be flat on the table or what I do are bins. And then I got these little pedestals for like a dollar each at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I could put one of the item in on the pedestal in the bin. So like a kid can come in and like beeline right toward it. Um, and then all my lower priced items I make multiples of because if you have like a family with a set of children come in, everyone can get something. They're inexpensive. Usually uh, moms aren't going to complain over, you know, getting three, five, six dollar items for their children. Uh, you know, and then everybody can get the same thing. So there's no fighting. If you have kids, you know what that's like. Uh, yeah, so that is like my one big tip for anybody who's selling Ami Grimmy plushies that you're trying to sell them towards children. Of course, I sell things to adults all the time. Like, I think it was a man that bought my like plush possum. Um, and I got a lot of compliments from adults on it. But yeah, the cheaper stuff that's cute that a kid would like, put low because that is technically at eye level. And yeah. That is it for today's video. I hope you found these little tips helpful and liked looking at my booth and I will see you guys in the next one.